What's up, Terrarians and Cargo Crate members? Welcome back to another episode of Fargo's Soul Mod. Yes, that's Fargo with an H because we're the Cargo Crate here. And if you like this video, go ahead and skelly man hand, slap that like button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a lot of farming. Most of it is going to be boss farming. So we're going to get like 10 overloaders, kill all the bosses. We might switch to melee because the mechanical leash, the Aya Cthulhu weapon or whatever it is, looks awesome. And I just want to test it out. Uh, I did farm out Moonlord and the Pillars quite a bit while off screen, so we should have plenty of fragments and plenty of Luminite bars to get everything that we need. Now what I want to do is I want to focus on making souls. So to begin, I want to still use our mage weapons just because we do have primarily set a mage. I believe we got everything for our arc mage soul. We just need to put our last prism in here and I believe that'll be it. So if I do that, Yes, I can make the Arc Mage. This is so sick. Okay, what does this do? 30% increase at magic damage, 20% increased spell casting speed, 15% increased magic crit chance, increases your mana by 200, and it has the effects of the Celestial Cuffs and the Mana Flower. So dope. So craft that. We're going to make that menacing here in a little bit. That'll probably take place of our Death Fairy, or Deathbringer Fairy, or maybe even our Dubious Circuitry. Probably the Deathbringer Fairy. Not going to lie. Um, but then also we can make the, or I want to make the flight mastery soul thing. Flight master. Oh, it is literally called flight mastery soul. Wow. So, oh, look at that. Wow. I, I made the flame wings because we got a, um, a devil banner, red devil banner. And, but we never used the flame wings. Everything else we've used at least once in this. Uh, I don't think we, I think I made the harpy wings once and I never actually used them because I realized we... Yeah, I made the fairy wings and the harpy wings thinking that they were better than the wings that we had had previously. But I think we already had the frozen wings at the time, and I just never used them. But I remember making the flame wings because we already got the red devil trident, unholy trident thing. And that was the only other thing that we could make with the, uh, the banner that we got. But then we must have gotten these drops from just doing the, the, the moon. Okay, so what are we... So we have fish run wings on. So, oh, literally, we only need Betsy's wings? Really? I... Here, I'm actually gonna, I was gonna buy the bag, but it's actually cheaper to just spawn her in. So let me see, can I spawn her in over here? I thought I could. So that's a Martian invasion, that's that, that's a vanity, I don't know what that even is. Oh, there it is, the dragon egg, summons Betsy. Perfect, well look at that, what a great start to the episode. So if I feel a little lackluster today, I am pretty tired. Oh, I don't have any, oh shoot, I don't have a, <laughs> hang on, I don't have a mage weapon. Uh, let's just see how this goes. Because I, I technically still have the Gaia armor on, so I should still plenty do a damage. See, I was, that wasn't even English. Still plenty do a damage? I don't even know what that means. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tired. I'm not feeling super great. Um, I, I'm not feeling, like, necessarily sick, but I just kind of feel, like, tired. And, uh, hint, hint, I'm, uh, I'm losing my taste. So... Pray for me, boys. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Um, all right, moving on <laughs> from that segment. We got Betsy's treasure bag, so now we can make Betsy's wings. Um, let's go ahead and just deposit all that in there. Golden crates, I'll use you later, I'm, I'm sure. Betsy wings, boom, look at that. Now we can craft the flight mastery. So let me put away our fish run wings as well. Wow, is this I did not know that we had this much done already and we still have not gotten it done. What are we missing? The deep oh the the bone wings I, I Didn't know bone wings is a thing. How, what do I need for that? I need a bone feather. Can I make it? I can make a bone feather Look at that bada boom bada bing. I thought those are demon wings. I thought we had everything. Okay now we should have everything flight Mastery soul. Wow. Look at that. So what does it do? It allows very long lasting flight. Ascend. It's just ascends. That's all it says. Oh, I forgot I have the, the grab globe. So very long lasting flight. Wow, look at that. Look at that horizontal speed. Oh my gosh. What? That's crazy. Holy mo how fast am I moving? I'm going 93 miles an hour. That's faster than a black spot on uh, on release of 1.4. That's crazy! Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I'm I'm am literally I'm stunned. I didn't know it was possible. 
So this is Grant's very long lasting flight. I know uh, so he had said it in the comments that it was infinite flight time. Does that mean it's not Im infinite? Does that mean that it's actually just like very long, like where it seems infinite? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and give these a reforge. Wow, it's already menacing. Incredible. It was 24 gold to reforge. Oh my gosh. Please. Lucky. Nice. Lucky. Lucky. Warding. Lucky. Okay, there we go. Menacing. Jeepers. I wasted so much money. Uh, I could do the uh, the enchantment as well. I could take a place in that. Yeah, that's probably a deal. I'll just get rid of the beetle enchantment because I love the 10% damage in armor, armor pen. I really do. Okay, so those two have been created. Now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to take on 10 summoning overload thing, guys, per people. So I'm going to buy 10 of these bad boys. Oh, that's just crazy. So let me get 10 of those. And I think we do the eye first or should we just do it in order? Should we just start at King Slime and just keep moving? Let's do King Slime first. Why not? And then and then we'll get like the because you get a crafting material. Once you do 10 overloaded summons, it'll summon all 100 bosses. Once you kill all 100, it gives you um, material to craft better items so that you can take on the champions and the other bosses that are after. What it, uh, What is it? The next boss, the Abomination. Abomination is next. Hey, it's you, Weirdus. Well, hey, I'll be fighting you in a little bit. All right, but uh, I'm gonna quickly go grab a. <laughs> another bag or maybe fight moon lord real quick just so i can have another item i want to i want to get the last prism so let me do that real quick all right there it is moon lord down so i think i'm just going to use the bag to craft into the last prism versus like opening the bag because we still get 100 luminite and i for sure get exactly the weapon that i want so i'm going to do that real quick let me uh make this this this, this is the beautiful thing about fargo soul mod you could literally do this with any tre treasure bag and get the exact item that you want. Perfect. Last prism has been crafted. Now let's go ahead and give this one a reforge. This is the one that I'm afraid of. This is the one that I think is going to take all my money. Only 10 gold? Really? I really want to get mythical. Come on. Let's go for mythical. Can we get it? We gotten mystic like a billion times. Mystic is good. But it's no mythical. Please. All, that's all I'm asking for. Alright. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, now I'm going for deadly or better. Deadly or better. Come on. It hurts me. Wow, this is awful. There we go. Oh, man, that's such a bummer. Really? That much money? Wasted like that? How much plat do I even have? I didn't, I didn't even look. So we have now eight plat. Wow, we went from like 23 at the beginning of this episode already to like 12 or eight. Ridiculous. Let's head over into our ocean biome actually. And there's a demon altar right next to it. And we'll go ahead and start farming these these things out. I'm, I'm excited for today's episode. I It kind of feels like a Calamity boss rush, you know? Whereas like boss rush is the very last thing you can do in Calamity. And this is like boss rush that's actually the prep for the end game. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a lot, I'm very excited about it. it. It feels longer than Calamity, even though Calamity has way more end game bosses, like way more post moon lore content. So I'm curious. By the way, this I don't know if I showed this in the episode really that much. I made like double layers and everything and couldn't get nothing to work, but we're good now. Let's go ahead and summon all these things. One, two, three. I don't know why I can't summon this thing. You know what? I'm not worried about it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, is my is my computer gonna crash? Is this gonna crash my computer? All right, we did it. Okay, we did it. All right. I'm scared. I'm nervous. What just happened? Did I get the did I get the crafting material? All right, so kind of a weird jump cut. Um, I actually stopped in the middle of the recording uh, and took a nap. So I am back now. We're good. I feel slightly worse uh, now, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and restart what we were doing. So we did it with the King Slime and I don't know if we get anything from King Slime because 
we that we killed everyone we killed all 100 king slime and yet there wasn't anything for us to have or oh, shoot and there wasn't really anything I don't it was really confusing I don't know we only got 32 bags out of the 100 that we killed and we didn't get anything out of it we didn't get any materials we didn't get like anything like that so I'm wondering you know what is there anything that we could even get from king slime I'm sure there is and I just broke it but I don't entirely know so I want to move to the eye of Cthulhu because I feel like that's what I need for the uh, for the mechanical leash and I don't remember exactly We'll craft 10 of these bad boys. We'll go home. We'll do this. Wait for it. Spawn in all of our cool little summons. Do one, two, three. And make it nighttime. And now we got 10 eye or 100 eyeballs shooting at us now. And holy moly, is this amazing. All right, we just murdered all 100. So what's happening now? So we get the optical energizer. Hey, I think that's what we need, right? But look at this, so now we got all 100 bags. Okay, very nice. Well, would you look at that? And the optical energizer is used for the mechanical leash. Bada boom, bada bing. And the mechanical leash is used to make the phantasmal leash, which is eternal energy. Is that, is that 100 moon lords for the eternal energy? Is that what that is? I have no idea. But hey, we got the one for the eye the loop. That was easy enough. I'm going to work on selling all these things. Actually, let's make the mechanical leash first so I don't accidentally get rid of it or something. So let's put that away. Let's make the mechanical leash. Fantastic. Let's give this a shot. And it's godly already. So what is this? Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. So should we make solar armor to increase? Oh, and it's got, it's got some range. Okay, okay. I can see that being really good. So I, I don't really know. Uh, I'm not going to worry about making solar armor. We have, we definitely have the materials to do that. But let me go ahead and set up the next boss, which is the Eater of Worlds. But I'm going to get rid of all these bags, sell a bunch of stuff, make a bunch of money. That, that way we're not losing anything. We're buying all those summons because it's a lot of summons that we're buying. And just like that, we're 15 plat richer. So we're going to go ahead and buy 10 wormy boys, 10 of these. And I just, I could foresee us getting a lot of money from all of these. This is where Fargo Soul Mod shines, is the money f feature. Because, like, all of the summons, like, they just cost so little in comparative, like, comparison to, like, actually beating the boss. It is so incredibly nice to have this many, like, bosses or ways to summons. And, I mean, like, think of how long it would have taken to make 10 chunky boys. You know what I mean? It would have taken a long time. So we don't need to fight this in the in special arena, right? We can just summon this, right? Yes, sir. Yet, Oh my gosh, it's happening. We did it. We murdered everything. Did I get the material? Is there material to be gained? There is. A wormy energizer. You make the rocket eater launcher. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that, to be honest. No, that seems pretty awesome, though. I want to make... Is it the wall of flesh that I need to kill? Because I, I kind of want to make the mage one. The mage one would be real, real sick. That one looks so... It's the one that uh, is better than the flesh hand or whatever. That makes the wall of flesh noises and shoots out the the eaters. Little eaty boys. Oh, we get, we're missing a bag. It's all the way down there. I don't want to farm that. It's literally going to take like two seconds. I realized also, uh, <laughs> like, uh, while, while I was jump cutting around, I still just have the pickaxe axe. There's a lot better pickaxes we can make nowadays, you know? I, I'm not sure why we haven't made an upgrade. You know, that's okay. Isn't that... Wait, that's so crazy. We've gotten 10 trophies for the Eye of Cthulhu and the uh, Eater of Worlds. And it's a 10% chance drop. That's kind of crazy that it's like exactly 1 in 10. You know, we get 10 and we only have 100. Is that not weird to anyone else? I think it's weird. Or I think it's cool. I should say weird. Boom! Alright, how are we doing in here? We're actually not killing everything super instantly. Brain of Cthulhu, die already! Oh my gosh! Uh oh, oh no, this is this is bad news bears. Maybe I should like not like. There we go. Okay, now we're doing damage. I think like when it focuses in as a laser, it just doesn't do as much. Holy treasure bags! It looks amazing. Um, so I uh, I ended up making the rest of the hard mode summons. I haven't done the deviant yet, so I don't I don't know if we'll probably save until I, we have the our better mage weapon. 
Because I feel like we will need the better weapon for Deviant. Because Deviant was way tougher than anything else. So, Brainy Energizer Boy. Oh, it makes the better summon. <gasps> we should totally make that. Big Brain Buster. Nice. What does it do? It repeats summoning. Repeated summons increase the size and damage of the minion. This caps at six slots. Minions do re reduce damage when holding when not holding a summon weapon. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's like calamity. Did I know that? I don't think I did. All right, so we'll go ahead and place that in there. We'll make the big brain summoner. Look at that, big brain buster. <laughs> I can't get over it. All right, only eighty-eight damage comparatively to all that other damage. Dang. Holy moly. Wow. All right, so we'll put this one away so I don't need that. And then let's see what it does. I do not. Oh, I see it. Oh, wow. I, I thought that was the other, other summons. So oh, that's bizarre. Oh, that looks sick. Hey, look at that. A free summon. The big brain of Cthulhu will fight for you. Nice. All right, I'm going to keep doing what we're doing. You know what I mean? Open up all these bags, get loads of money, sell everything. You know the good stuff. More bees. I need all the bees. You will all die by my hand. Oh my gosh. I can't get over it. It's so awesome. They like insta die too. Like when it gets to a certain point, it's just like, all right, we give up. We're all going to die. That's crazy. Oh, I love it so much. This, it feels like boss rush. I can't get over it. It's boss rush, but better because everything dies easy. <laughs> Okay, what do we get? You get the Buzzy Energizer, and you make the Big Sting. Now, I really don't care for this weapon, so I'm definitely not going to make that. But hey, it's there. The reason I'm not making it is because I don't want to waste Illuminate Bars. I'm sure, does it combine into anything else? Actually, it doesn't. Oh, look at that. All right. Well, then we'll get rid of that. Easy peasy. You're gone. And uh, we'll be back again. Ah, uh, you know what? No, let's do this. Let's do all of these real quick. And then, then we'll do all the bags, and so we don't have to keep jump cutting and doing all this crazy stuff. So I'm assuming we need to make it nighttime for the skull chain necklace. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I am not ready. Holy moly. Oh, there's so many more. We've only killed 27 of them. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's the only thing I can say right now. Look at all that damage, though. What's our damage? 60,000 damage, 75,000 damage. I think I saw 75. Now we're up to 40,000. I mean, oh, we just say 85,000. Oh, okay. So damage is still really good when it's compact like that. I figured it would be like the wider the spread, you know, would do more damage. But obviously not. Look at all the skulls shooting us. <laughs> I'm surprised it's not doing the phases thing, you know, where it like, it gets like the one HP and then it, it all attacks you. I am surprised by that. That it didn't do that. All right, next up we have the wall of flesh. Let me let me get all these bags though. Look at all them bags. Wow. You'll never get over this. As soon as you get over this, you're over Terraria, right? And I don't even think that's possible. All right, so I'm currently moving all the way to the left side of the world just because I want to give myself plenty of space. I don't want to get stuck over here, you know, just in case. All right, we're on the edge. Bada boom. Oh, oh, it's a bunch of eyeballs. Oh, it's worse than I could imagine. We've killed four of them. The wall of flesh has managed to cross the underworld? Wait, what? Uh, excuse me. Oh, did they go that way? Did they go right to left? And they ruined it? You monsters, why would you do that? Alright, well we have to go do this again. What? Tarnation? What is going on? What does the Bony Energizer make again? It makes the Hell Zone. Did we get the Bone Zone last time? I don't think so. I don't think we ever got the Bone Zone. So we'd have to do that again just to get that. All right, I'm going to lock these in place. Everything else can get away from here. And now I need to go buy. Oh, dang it. I didn't keep those. Oh, where are those bags? Treasure bag. Give me that. Give me that treasure bag. I want that one. All right, now I have to do this again. Gosh, dang it. Wasting money left and right. I mean, I only have 40 platinum. What am I supposed to do with 40 platinum? Oh, dang it. Oh, well, I, we are going to need more eventually. So might as well just top that off. And now we have to head back over to the ocean. See, this is the whole process. This is like, the beautiful thing about Fargo Soul Mod. It's a lot quicker to do this than like imagine doing this for vanilla. 
But then again, like you have to have like specific crafting stations to do a lot of this stuff. Like you can't get a demon altar. You can't just pick one up, you know? Or can you? Can you pick up demon altars? Someone please fact check that. Wiki gang, I need you badly, desperately. I need to know if that's possible. Because if it is, you will change my life forever. Because I absolutely hate teleporting to the ocean and coming back here and then doing this and then doing that and then getting back here. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a lot of work. I'm a YouTuber. I'm lazy. I'm also dying. Please help. All right. Funnel that. Oh, shoot. Oh, I think since they... Maybe they started? I don't know. I've got no clue. Maybe they, since they started over there, they thought, like, it got crossed? That's probably what happened. All right, so let's just murder everything over there. Is it happening? Are we doing it? I think we're doing it. This is terrifying. This is scary. This is like actually a um, a horror movie. This is this is a horror game. Terraria is a horror game. Who knew? Did you know it's actually that's what it says it is. It says it's a horror game. Oh my gosh! Can you please don't please kill that? Thank you. I've killed twenty nine. This is by far the hardest one. And I mean it's not hard. I'm just moving up and down and shooting a giant laser at everything. Oh look at that! There's a treasure bag all the way over there. Wow. All right, murder it. Do it. Kill it dead. But this one is by far, like, it's not getting one shot, you know? It's not just like, pew. You know what I mean? It's difficult, I, I promise. I, I am having a difficult time keeping up with all of these bosses here. I mean, it's too much to handle. Oh, we have a traveling merchant. Okay, we have a traveling merchant. Go capture the traveling merchant. Remember, remember, there are things that we need to do once we get back to the surface other than just opening treasure bags. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. My traveling merchant might actually go home by the time I kill this thing. How are y'all doing? Are y'all staying safe? Y'all washing your hands? Y'all keeping uh, good? I hope. Uh, washing your hands very important, you know? It's uh, good to keep yourself safe, each other safe. That's what uh, the masks are for, you know? Helping everyone in the community. Stay safe, right? I know they're not fun. I get it. I, I work a job where I have to wear a mask for seven hours straight, and it's a... Uh, it's not, it's not a great time. I know some, I mean, are some of you even going to school and wearing masks for all the time? Or are you guys doing mostly online? What is like an online school you had to like wear a mask? That'd be dumb. Nah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be cringe. All right, come on, Wall of Flesh. You're making me devolve my conversation. We're talking about the Ronas. We don't want to talk about Ronas. We don't. <laughs> <coughs> bad time, bad, bad timing. Body, why are you failing me now? We're, we're almost done with the wall of flesh. 85 or 15 left. Come on. I, I can't even see these things. Are we murdering them? 89, 90. It's happening. We're less than 10 away. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And look at that. They're all de dead. Oh, I thought my. I literally thought it crashed right there. Alright, do I have all the bags? I don't think I do. So I've got 93 bags right here and oh i missed a bunch of bags okay can i grab this bag oh i can't get that bag look at that that's crazy why is it like hello it's outside the map well that's messed up i don't appreciate that that is fully lame all right so now we have almost our 100 bags but we got our wally -E energizer which is everything that we wanted it makes the regurgitator that's what it's called very nice. Do I need to get another flesh hand? Because I don't know if I have one. Because I think I made it into a soul or something like that. Maybe maybe I still have it. I forgot our horizontal flight speed is like insanely fast and way faster than any mount that we have. Perfect. I love this. This is this is my favorite mastery right here. Infinite flight and increased flight speed is like my number one accessory. Movement is my favorite thing of all time. Damage is fantastic and I love that. Anything that adds summons, also fantastic. But if you give me movement speed, oh, we're going to have a good time. All right. Now that those are all picked up, um, I'm going to go ahead and make a regurgitator. And now we can handle this. Oh, my gosh. Our flight speed is incredible. I can't. Oh, I probably will never get over it. I'll, I'll go back to playing, like, my Calamity Summoner when, if I ever stream again. And um, it'll be, it'll just, it just won't be the same. All right, regurgitator. We don't have it. Oh, wait. I'm in the wrong crafting station. 
Regurgitator. A. Oh, we have quite a few flesh hands. Dude, this thing looks sick. I can't wait to see what it does. It's the quick one. All right. Uh, let me give it a quick reforge. Yeah. I mean, I've got the money for it. Is it going to be like a plot to reforge this thing? Oh, it's only 10 gold. Bada boom. And it's mythical. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Okay. What is that? Do I have to let go to shoot that? Hang on. I want to see. Does it shoot it eventually? Because I had to let go. So it stops growing. Is it ever going to go? Wow. That looks awful. But that is awesome. That, this is such a cool weapon. Holy moly. I'm so glad we do this. Maybe we stay mage just for that. Should I make Nebula armor? I mean, like, look at my requirement. Or, like, look at my all my stuff that I have. Oh, not Nebula. I've got 151 fragments and 225 aluminite bars. I think I can make whatever the heck I want. You know what I mean? So, let's make Nebula armor. And if you guys yell at me in the comments, do it. I don't know what armor I need. So... I heard there was like a, a base type armor damage upgrade that I need to make, but I honestly, I don't know. So yeah, that only gets made into the enchantment, so I can't upgrade this thing any further. So this will only be beneficial for our mage damage. Oh man, I'm, I'm torn. What's the set bonus? Because like we'd be losing out on a pretty sick set bonus. Oh, I just accidentally buffed up. Oh well. We'd be losing out on a pretty sick set bonus um, with the gay armor. Hurting enemies has a chance to spawn buff boosters. That's it? Oh, I remember those. Like the fragment buff boosters. I remember those. I forgot about that. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I think that is going to be it for this episode. We have a lot more upgrades to do. I'm just not feeling super great. So I am going to keep these recordings to be short. But stay awesome. I will see you all in the next video. Okay? Bye.